Hey there, Julian from Memberstack here, and in this video, I want to talk about something super important that a lot of people are wondering, which is, what is the difference between WISD and Memberstack? And I want to start by addressing the elephant in the room, which is that WISD and Memberstack are not competitors by any means. Comparing WISD and Memberstack is like comparing soap and a dishwasher. Yes, at the end of the day, they both clean dishes, but they both serve different purposes. Sometimes you only need one, sometimes you only need the other, but in most cases, the two work together beautifully to achieve the end goal of building businesses with a low-code stack. If you only remember one thing from this video, let it be that member stack is the brain of your business and that WISD is the brain of your app. And what I mean by that is member stack is where you control the stuff that is crucial to your business as a business, as in the users, as in the payments, as in managing everything that has to do with the people who at the end of the day put the bread on your table. Member stack is where you make sure that people can only see the content that they have paid for. Member stack is where you set up the plans, set up the access, and set up all of that. On the other hand, WISD, like I said, it is the brain of your app. All of the stuff that is going on that makes your app special, that makes your app worth the cost, is set up in WISD. As you probably know, WISD is something that you use to send data out, bring data in, and manipulate it. So there are lots of different businesses where you're going to need to do that. If you're building any sort of web app or any sort of SaaS, that is basically the meat and potatoes of it. And Member Stack gives you the stuff that you need in order to turn that not just into a cool app, but into a profitable business. No matter what it is that you're building, you probably have different tools in your stack. And Member Stack and WISD are just two examples of those tools that maybe you need both of them, maybe you only need one of them, but the two serve their own unique purposes. So what do they serve? Let's get into that right now. Like I said, Memberstack is the brain of your business, and here we are in Memberstack. In here, I can view my members, see all of their data, everything like that. I can manage them, and I can also set up plans, and plans are how you monetize your business. So let's say, for example, you have some sort of SaaS, like this one here, all the rage that we have built. Member Stack is where we created our plan that people have to pay for. We connected Member Stack to Stripe and were easily able to charge and manage our members so that they get access to our app. Along with that, we can set up gated content in Member Stack to make sure that people aren't able to cheat the system and that only the correct people are able to use our app. Along with that, Memberstack has some other features such as commenting where you can very easily out of the box add commenting feature to your Webflow site for blogs, for items, for whatever it may be. Using Memberstack allows you to set up all of the important stuff that you need for your business to operate without having to go super crazy with custom code and complex operations. It gives you all of that stuff that you need, so you don't need to worry about that. You only need to focus on your web app. Speaking of which, now it's time to talk about WISD. So here we are in WISD, and we have some other videos that are talking about how to use WISD, getting started with WISD, what it is. But in this one, what I'd like to explain is why WISD is important in this stack. So the way that we built All The Rage started with WISD. It started with the feature. So if you don't know, All The Rage is a tool that allows you to turn people who are rage clicking into potential happy customers by opening a custom Webflow UI, opening a live chat, so on and so forth. And while we were building this, the first thing that we needed to do is make the functionality. And that is where WISD came into play. We use WISD to have all of the data go from the user into our database, which we use Supabase in this case, but you can use Airtable, Zeno, anything you want to use, and also getting data and bringing it back in. So WISD is how you actually build your web app to begin with. It is the brain. It is the powerhouse of everything that goes on that makes your web app worth the cost, and Member Stack is how you realize that cost. Now, when it comes to deciding between one versus the other, like I said, the two are not competitors. 
The two are just different tools that serve different purposes. So are you going to use WISD? Are you going to use member stack? Depends on a whole bunch of different things. But what I am going to do is give you an example where you only need member stack, you don't need WISD, and where you only need WISD, you don't need member stack. So First, if you're building something where there aren't a whole lot of complex operations going back and forth, you're not communicating with your database, you're not storing tons of information with relations and all that sort of stuff. The main thing is, let's say, the content on your website. In that case, you don't need to use Wiz. You can set up some custom functionality using custom code and WISD is just not a tool you need in your stack in that case you can get by with just member stack alone on the flip side if your web app is super important but the business side of things is not so for example if you're building an internal tool which needs to work well needs to function but you don't need too much more besides a simple auth system where you can validate that only the correct people are coming on board well, for that, you can only use WISD. And that is why using the two together allows you to set up your business in a way that it can thrive and allows you to build your web app in a way that is functional and is powerful. So that's about it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. I'll talk to you soon and have a great day.